Hey guys, welcome to this uh, tutorial. I'm taking a quick break from the white label game tutorial series. And I was talking to a friend of mine and he mentioned that he had tried doing a uh, a jQuery chat uh, like a shout box and ended up having a bit of trouble with it. So, I've decided I'm going to make this uh this little tutorial. <coughs> and we'll have a look at developing a jQuery um, chat box which will send new messages and update current messages dynamically. We'll be using um, a little bit of JSON uh, to achieve this. So let's get started the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new HTML page and in the uh, head tags we want to include um, our jQuery link now I'm just going to use the Google API link <coughs> so you got your uh, script tag, your, your yeah your script tags, and the source is the https colon forward slash forward slash ajax dot google apis dot com forward slash ajax forward slash libs forward slash jquery forward slash one point six point two forward slash jquery dot min dot js so if you've got it on your um on your website in a a uh, folder by all means you can include that instead so what are the first things we're going to need we're going to need a section for the chatter's name and what they're going to say so what we'll do is we will start off by putting in par paragraph tags followed by an input which will be the type of text a name of say username I just want to give it a class of js underscore username. Now I put the js underscore prefix onto it um, so I know that it's a, 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 Javas, a, a JavaScript reference and it's sort of break up the different you know sort of break up the differences between uh, the classes so before I before we the input tag we want to have uh, just put username like so underneath that I will put another paragraph tag and put message another input the type of text We'll call this one message. We're the class of JS underscore message. We also want to increase the size of the input box. We'll put it to 80 and see where that takes us. With a maximum length of let's say 150 characters. So if we come over to the design, this is what we've got. <coughs> so the idea is that a person will type in their username followed by the message that they want to um, chat or shout and then 
we'll put a submit button with the name of shout and a class of JS underscore shout. We'll save this. Um, <clears throat> we can leave this a HTML page because we're not going to be running any um, JavaScript off of it, uh, any PHP off of it, sorry. So we'll just name this chat.html. After that, what we need to do is we need to create <coughs> a container which will hold the all the shouts. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create a little div, and we'll call this JS underscore shouts. And then we'll apply a bit of styling to this. We want to give it a width and we'll give it a width of let's say 600 pixels. We'll give it a little border, make it a thin solid black border and a height of 150 pixels. So we come over to design, this is what we've got. All of our shouts will be placed into here. <coughs> the next thing we want to do is we'll add a um, overflow now I can't quite remember whether this is Overflow X, I do believe. Oops. Let's see if it'll appear on the design. No, it won't. Okay, so bear with me and I'll just make sure this is correct. Yep, I was right. So this is um, the effect of that, o that Overflow X. It creates a, a scroller on the side but it still wraps any text any text around so there's no scroll along the bottom which is what we want it would be nice if that scroll bar wasn't there mind you but we'll live if anyone knows how to get rid of it please let me know so we have our username we have our message and we have our submit button We've got no form on here, no form tag, so clicking the submit button won't um, process any of the information that's being put in. So now on to the database, because we're going to need a database in order to Uh, store and retrieve messages. So I've created a new database um, just called testing. I'm going to create a new table and I'm just going to call it chat and we'll give it a, a number of fields. So what will we have? We'll have username, we'll have message, we will have a timestamp. I think that's about it. So three should do the trick. The first one is the username. Second one, oh, struggling spelling message today. And a timestamp. Okay, so the timestamp. We want it to be timestamp. Um, type 
our message with via, via varchar and there's only 150 we're, we're limiting it to 150 let, uh, characters <coughs> the username also wants to be a varchar we'll leave that one 255 uh, so we'll save that so what we're going to need is we're going to need um, our PHP program, a uh, program, sorry, our script, PHP script, which will call upon, <coughs> uh, w which will handle all of our functions. I hope I don't get rid of the div. <coughs> so if we create a new PHP file, and we'll get rid of that, and then put our tags, and save this off as chat.php. So we've got a chat HTML and a chat PHP. So before we can put in any um, PHP functions we're going to want to write some jQuery this will consist of two functions two JavaScript functions one which will send um, the chat or send a message and one which will call messages or to update the shout box the first one we'll do is we will send shout and the parameters inside here we could we can leave this empty and we will call upon some fa uh, variables in here so first one we're going to need will be the username <coughs> which we want to populate that variable with the content of JS username And that's the text, that's the input field which has a class of JS username. And we want to take the value for, of it. The next one is going to be another variable. And we'll put message. And again, this is one with the class of JS underscore shout, wasn't it? And again, the value of that. So now we've got our two variables. What we go, what we need to do is we need to send this to a PHP page, uh, uh, and we'll be using a built-in jQuery function uh, known as AJAX. No, we don't need to. We don't need to use AJAX. We can just use a post. We can use the uh, a jQuery post variable uh, function. Sorry, I'm all over the place tonight. I'm freaking hot. Okay, so we'll continue on with this uh, send shout function on the next video.